Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Cleopatra's Revenge campaign, also known as Coptic Mam Looks to Egypt to Rome, because that is our goal. Um, I've been thinking over uh, our current situation, so we could declare on the Ottomans with the help of Austria, who has the PU over Hungary, however, Austria is not currently the Holy Roman Emperor, which means they don't have nearly as much force limit as I had hoped they would. Uh, the autos are at 74, we're at 54, and if we scroll all the way down here, Austria and Hungary have a combined of 59. Um, we would also be dealing with Tunis, which we could probably piece out relatively quickly. The main advantage of declaring right now is that the Ottomans' other allies would not join due to being wrapped up in a war against Castile uh, slash Aragon slash Naples. Um, wait, Aragon actually has the PU over Castile. That's interesting. I thought Castile had the PU on Aragon. All right, so um, the problem being we're sitting on three loans we're sitting on extremely low manpower and we're about to pop more rebels and we have not yet been able to take the renaissance um and we're still pretty far from doing so uh so i think it'll actually be more efficient to just chill for a little while and uh maybe Maybe we could actually declare on QQ. Who are they at war with? With Ajam, never mind. Um, not that Imareti is a particularly scary ally of QQ. Um, yeah, we probably won't declare on them right now either. Uh, we're at three of four, so I want to pick up another vassal or another ally. Uh, preferably, well, we could actually ally Ethiopia. I don't particularly want to do that. Um, may ally Aragon, actually. That could be good. Um, especially because Aragon's navy could help us against the Ottomans. I assume their navy is decent anyway. Maybe it's not. Uh, other than that, I think we just want to eat Ethiopia's land. Um, part of me wants to release Elodia and feed it all to Elodia to save our admin. Um, because we need to get to workshop. Um, and I really want to get our other idea groups unlocked so we can pick up our manpower recovery speed and discipline. Uh, let's gain some professionalism from that event. Uh, do we have any... We don't want to lose loyalty there. We don't want to lose money. And yeah, so we have no interactions there that we can take advantage of. So Yemen is in a coalition against us. So, we don't really want to declare on them right now. Uh, lose a whole bunch of money. That is strictly suboptimal, I believe. Especially because we need money. Let's see. Najran, where are you? All the way down there. I assume that they're not particularly... Yeah, only a 13k stack. Let's boost our stability again. Just stay at 3 stability. Um, our ruler is young and has really good admin, and we're focusing admin. So, ooh. Discipline 5% guy. That would be nice to have. Uh, where is Adana? All the way up there. Let's march this army up here to Adana. Do we have claims? We do have a claim on Medri Bahri, which is probably who we would declare on. 
We may see, like, if Ethiopia ends up fighting somebody, uh, we might... Might declare on Medjury just for a super easy war. Alright, so... This war is over. I think the Ottomans picked up some more land along here. Uh, they definitely took that island from Genoa, and it looks like they took that from Genoa. Um, so we definitely want messages about the Ottomans, and let's uh, let's go ahead and pick up an alliance with Aragon for now. Um, it could be could definitely be useful with the fact they have Castile and Naples in their pocket. Um, we're going to want to call them in against the Mamluks, or not the Mamluks, we're the Mamluks, um, against the Ottomans, or hope that they'll defend us in the case that the Ottomans declare a coalition war on us, which they have just joined the coalition against us. I uh, don't think improving relation is going to do anything with them. It's actually a complete waste of time, isn't it? They're at minus 200 just from lying our subjects' provinces. So, yeah, that's going to be pointless. Uh, other than that, let's go back to improving with Outraged for now. We want to get this coalition knocked off. Um... Also, we probably, uh, we're finally getting the Renaissance up in here. Um, let's see, I think at least in here, we're gonna swap from our defensive edict to our advancement effort. I think we'll put it there. Um, Let's see. One of these days we should probably do religious unity as well. Uh, that way we can convert some of our provinces more quickly. Because it's taking quite a while to convert some of these at this point. Alright, Age of Discovery is ending. Is there any... We can't accumulate a rival, right? Our rivals are... Ottomans, Ilyayan, Gar, how do you say that in Poland? I really want to complete another of these age objectives so we could pop a golden era. Uh, five provinces with centers of trade. So basically we could take two from Ethiopia. Is this a state? Uh, we actually, we already have this stated up, so that could be plus one. Uh, this is also stated up, I believe. No, it's not. It's a territory. Uh, this is also a territory, actually. I thought we may have stated it so that we could give Beha to... Um, forget the name of... There's the, the, the name of the estate, the Dimi, I think it's called, so we could spawn rebels. Um, so actually, this is a territory. If we could state Mecca, that would be plus one. Uh, that's a state. We actually have the centers that we need. So actually, once we take civil service we'll get plus five states which means we can turn that we actually probably would turn all three of these centers of trade into states and then that'll complete our age objective so that's nice uh as far as ethiopia goes that's seven development that's eight development that's a very easy war goal so we'll fabricate there there's our Rebels that we were waiting for. Sunni Zealots. Where are they going to pop? Right there. Well, that's a nice easy trick for these guys to squash some rebels. Would really like to...
turn down our army maintenance, but I suppose I can drill this army until these guys are at 60%. Uh, what's our innovativeness at? 5.3 actually. So I think we'll gain another innovativeness and go up to 6.3. I think that's fine. Yes, we can take our idea. So it reduces our admin technology cost, but more importantly, we get five states. Uh, so let's make sure that we make the right states. Uh, we're definitely gonna make Mecca a state. Um, we have all the provinces in it. And this is the coastal center of trade. Uh, and we should automatically get that because we have the permanent claim. Um, Medina, let's see. Cyprus, ISIL, I don't know if we want to make that a state or not. This one we have everything. Oh, we already had the state there, so it would have to be this one. That's a territory. That is a state. So yeah, if we want to complete that age objective, we have to state this actually. So we'll do that and in a minute we can make it a core and that should give us, what does it say? Own, control, and core at least five provinces with the center of trade. Do coastal centers of trade not count? Right, it should, right? Does it tell us which? Uh, at least one level two and one level three. Well, we have a level two there. We have a level two there. Um, so I guess we would have to upgrade this one to level three. <laughs> which would cost a thousand ducats. Oh, maybe we won't be able to complete that age objective after all. I don't think any of the other ones will be able to. I don't think we're gonna get the Renaissance everywhere before our age ends. It's only at three of five. Hmm. At least five, one has to be two, one has to be three. Yeah, I don't think that that's gonna happen. Uh, by you to down there. So these guys are only a 2.5% chance. So I think we wanna bring this army down here. Uh, where are the 2.7, 2.1? That's over here, so that army can take care of that. So I guess we'll stop drilling and march them that way. Uh, we're already at our max leader limit, so we won't worry about that. There's those guys. How is Cyprus looking? They're only allied with the knights. So how have we not eaten Cyprus yet? We should definitely do that. Yeah. We should definitely, definitely do that. We could actually eat the knights too at the same time. We could just declare them as co-belligerent and give them to Karaman. That would be easy enough. Um, Don Golan, that's where these guys are going. Hijazi was in here. So we'll move those guys there. Well, colonialism is starting and we have not even embraced the Renaissance yet. Feels good, man. Feels good. That's what I like in my playthroughs. Max penalty for institutions. Uh... At least it's like slowly getting there. Uh, Syrian separatists, actually. Halab, where is that? 
all the way up there. Uh, how big are they gonna be? 23k actually. So those guys should go there and these guys can come down to that. Um, we can give them a general, depending on who's going to pop first, but definitely seems like the Syrian Separatists are going to pop first. We might not even get there in time. We could make some more states, though, which we might want to do. Uh, 20, let's see, Medina has 19. How many more states do we have? We can make three more. So, all Yama... I think that's fine. Core of those. We've got our Conquer New States. Uh, we're gonna save that though until we can pop it for absolutism later in the game, unless. Um, yeah, we can get that later. We can get that later. I mean, we're nowhere near. Eh, actually, kind of close to 80,000 dudes. An 80,000 man army. Medina. I don't know why I ever do it this way rather than just searching for it. Um, take that. Especially because we don't have to core those. A seer. I don't think we have to core these either. So we can do that. Apparently we do have to core those. Is that all three? Yep, we're at 20 of 20. So once our autonomy climbs down, that should help quite a bit uh, with our money situation. These are climbing down at 25%. I think most of these are controlled by an estate. Yeah, so they are at their lowest. Uh, we got there just in time, which is perfect. Now convert some more provinces. Let's keep that going. Get our religious unity popping. Uh, Hijazi rebels. So these guys can handle that. Don Golan are taking care of Ramzani and Adana, so they can go back up there. And for now. Or they run Zani, they can drill until that's at 80%. Alright, let's see. Are the Mamluks at war? Are they eating anybody up? I mean, not that we can go to war with them. Uh, we want to stop these guys from drilling, that's for sure. Let's see, Ethiopia is just chilling in there. Wonder what they're up to. Oh, ooh, Hormuz left the coalition, so Mehdi is actually a junior partner of them. Yemen left the coalition too, so that's actually perfect. Means we could potentially declare on them. They're allied with Hajramut, Hajran. Hajran's actually kind of big. And where is Maheran? Are they down here somewhere? Marehan. Oh, they're that tiny little little thing there. So <clears throat> a Johnny is or Ajuron would be annoying. Mostly because it would be very difficult to get to them. So we probably need to take care of Ethiopia first. Do believe. So we're still nowhere near. Oh, nice. That stack popped right on top of us. Unfortunately, this stack's in the mountains. Uh, this is our six shock general, though. Um, but they're in the mountains. That seems risky. They have no shock on their leader. Uh, we'll go for it. Hopefully that's not the wrong call, which it definitely looks like it was. Yeah. I should have just waited to see if they would come out of the mountains into us. 
But I took the risk just in case it paid off, just so they wouldn't get the separatism. They get the separatism anyway. Oh, nice. Ottomans left the coalition, too. How nice of them. Everyone's leaving the coalition. See? We're nice guys. We're not evil dudes. I mean, only a little bit, right? Yeah, coastal desert now. Let's just give these guys our six shock general real quick, and then that guy can go there. Does that actually cancel drilling, or do we get to keep drilling because we instantly swamped? Yeah, much easier when they're not in the mountains, by the way. You know, funny how that works, right? So I really want to get... I want to get to workshop so that I can get to build buildings. Um, at 10 plus 10 tax revenue for 25 years. That ends up being a lot of money. Just doing some quick math. Uh, the goal is about to pop. Pacer, where are they? Over there. Ramzani is up there. They're still not really any closer to popping. I guess we'll march that way. Uh, we have... So I want to be able to fabricate and instantly declare on Cyprus, which I think we'll use this army to do because I'm worried and we need to bring these guys home. Uh, I don't want it to happen where we fabricate on them and then all of a sudden the Ottomans are guaranteeing them. That would be uh, extremely suboptimal. So we'll fabricate, bring him home, and we'll just go ahead and declare as soon as we have the CB, which we do. Uh, let's make sure the knights, are they still... Yeah, they're still only allied with Cyprus, so we can declare them as co-belligerent. And... I think we'll just go ahead and peace out the knights first. Um, I guess it doesn't particularly matter. Might as well peace out... Are we going to be able to actually land on Cyprus? That's the question. It's only a 6k stack. We only have 10 transports. So we're only at an advantage of 4k. Um, we can at least give them our shock general. Let's see. This is actually... We want exactly 10 regiments. Why is this nine regiments? Oh, because we didn't split properly. We didn't, we didn't properly consolidate first. So get all of those out. Now that is exactly 10K. Not actually sure we win this fight. Honestly, I hope we do. I mean, we would definitely beat the knights because they only have 3k. They're at 7k now. Yeah, that's close. It's so close. Woo! Got there. Barely. Now we need to get these guys there so we can actually siege it. Being able to siege it is important. Uh, so Adana is about to pop rebels. Those guys are about to pop rebels. Just getting rebels everywhere, unfortunately. Let's see, make sure this isn't important. So... That's weird. So I'm having a, so we bought a new mattress for anybody that cares. And initially it said it was gonna be delivered today. So I wasn't gonna stream. And then we checked on the delivery thingy and it said it wasn't gonna be delivered until the 15th because it was in Georgia for some reason. And now apparently 
it's going to be delivered today, but the tracking says the 15th. So I'm pretty confused. So we'll see. We may have to cut it short. Um, I was planning on streaming for another hour and 15 minutes or so. Uh, let's see. We want missionary strength, I believe. We're not going to pay for that guy. And yeah. So I don't know. I might be getting a knock on the door. Um, I need to go blockade this province, though. Maybe getting a knock on the door and saying, like, hey, your mattress is actually here. In which case, my dog's gonna go crazy. Uh, where are these guys? How far? Um, of course, they're all the way over there. So do we go, let's see, 23% chance, 10%, 10%. And how big are the Shamari dudes? Not very big, thankfully. Um, we might give ruler military command, even though I don't really want to. Oh, our homies are helping us siege, which... Oh, the Ottomans on QQ. Uh, so we should declare on QQ as well. Yeah, we need to. Uh, you're war with the Timurids, Hassa, Dawasir. Who are you, Korsan? Up there. Why do you need access to my lands? Oh, Timurids. You're war with a whole bunch of people. Sure, I wouldn't mind helping out the Timurids because we might try and ally them later. So I guess we'll finish this war and then we'll move on and declare on QQ. All right, so we killed Cyprus. Maybe we can capture some of these ships. Nice, we captured two. Two transports, which actually helps out because um, now we can transport 12k onto roads. So let's make sure we do this properly. That's 13k. Should be exactly 12k. And it is. <clears throat> so this should be a very easy battle. Like, do they actually have more than one? Where the heck did they go? What the heck? They vanished. Did the Ottomans give the military access? I guess they must have. No other explanation, right? That or they, they're on these transports. Nice. It's religious strength sending up doing some work. All right, let me get an update on this mattress situation. Okay, well. Online still says the 15th. So, of course, these dudes popped first, but as soon as we move out of here, these guys are gonna pop. So I don't know. I think it's better just to let these guys pop and then um, then we'll go deal with the other rebels afterwards. 2.4% uh, chance. I wonder if we suppress them. Will they actually just stop? No, still a 2.4% chance. 2.5 now. Might be better just to walk off the province and let them pop. 2.5%. Yeah, that's up to a 6%. Alternatively, we can march this army down here, and then we could transport these guys to deal with those rebels if and when the time comes. 
So we're going to try and take Cypress and Rhodes. 